Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to design an estate flyer like this using Photoshop. Before any further I do, let's get started. I'm going to use A5 paper size then resolution is going to be 300 now select your solid color then copy the color code here then ctrl v to paste ok and i'm going to select an ellipse tool drag it Position it to your desire. Now duplicate it. Ctrl J. Then I will use my arrow key to shift this one up. Then arrange this one by dragging it properly. Okay. Then now, turn off the fill color, then apply stroke, then 5 by number, then I'm going to convert it, smart object, alright. Then rasterize it. Then create a cycle there. Then I will duplicate the cycle here. Drag it over here. Then I'm going to pick my polygon loser tool. Delete. Ctrl D to deselect. Then I'm going to duplicate this one again. Use your arrow key then to bring it down then the same thing turn off the fill color then apply stroke and put five Then convert it to smart object and rasterize it. Then I'm going to duplicate the circle over here, then drag it down. Then move it to your desired position. Then select your lasso tool. Delete. Then delete. Control D to the select.
now i'm going to select them then drag it up by using my arrow key i'll put them in order and group them Now duplicate it again. Then apply drop shadow. All right. Okay. Then apply orange color over this one then i'll import my image create a clippy mask Then apply the background color on it. okay then bring in your logo decrease it position it well then type the company name then drag it up copy then I'm going to duplicate it ctrl J then I'll move it over this area I'll bring it down then select your test tool and ctrl V to paste Then increase it, drag it up, I'm going to increase it a bit, okay so okay like this, duplicate it again ctrl J, then select it then ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste all right now after done this one i'm going to copy this test here again then i'm paste this over here then change the the color to white then make it bold then increase the size duplicate it ctrl j 
then copy your text then come again select it and control v to paste change the color to this orange then i'm going to duplicate it again control j then i'll copy this text again select it and paste over here then change it to white color then i'll select them all then bring it to the center apply center alignment now i'm going to draw a cycle here just like i did to the first one duplicate it then i turn it off then go to your property remove the v color then apply a stroke then input number five okay now convert it to smart object then rasterize it then select your polygon now before then select your polygon tool then delete the area you don't want okay i think i'm going to remove this area delete Ctrl D to deselect all right increase it a bit yeah now it has been decreased okay now i'm going to draw before then i want to duplicate it then rotate it position it this way then i'm going to delete part of it then i leave the area i want delete then control d to deselect okay now i'm going to select and draw a little cycle over here position it well then ctrl j to duplicate it duplicate it again then duplicate it again having done this then what I'm going to do now is to arrange them properly then before then i will duplicate this one then reduce the size then now apply white background on this one and this way now i'm going to select them then i'll group it
reduce the size then now ctrl j to duplicate it then drag it then duplicate it again drag it this way it's okay increase it a bit okay i'm using the arrow key then to move it up Then now import your image. Then resize it. Okay. Then create a clipping mask. Apply the same thing to this one and the rest. Done. Now I will rotate it. Then I'll also do the same thing to the rest so that all of them will be in different position. Duplicate it. I had not copied them together while I was duplicating it. So now I have to fish it back. Duplicate and drag it over there. All right. Then I'll select this one again and rotate it just the way I did to the other one. Okay. okay. Then I'll leave the first one the way it takes. Paste. Duplicates, then select, copy or test, then Ctrl V to paste, then change the color to orange, it's okay this way.
then I'll copy again, duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then I'll drag it over here, select it and Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm also going to duplicate this one, drag it over here, select it, copy your text, go back and paste. Now copy again, then duplicate this one here, Ctrl J. Then move it over, move it over here. Select it, then and paste. Duplicate it again. Then you drag it to this position. Select it. Go back to copy your text. Then Ctrl V to paste. Copy again. I'm going to duplicate this one here and drag it over this position. Paste. Then copy your contact number. Duplicate this one. Then select it and paste. I'm going to change the color to the orange color. Then I'm going to duplicate this one again and drag it over here. Then select, copy or test, then and paste. Now arrange them. Then drag this one down a bit. Then rename it. And increase it a bit. Okay. Draw a rectangle here. Then copy the text. Let your test to then contribute to paste. Increase it. Then drag this one close and reduce it. Okay. Then duplicate it, and drag it inside, then select it, then copy the amount here, 
then control V to paste. And reduce the size or you increase this one then select it type n then place it over here then change to black color Then select a rectangle, draw it over here to apply strike, strike through, duplicate it, then you drag it down like this. Select the tool, use your arrow key to move it down. Okay. Then group it and rename it. Now select your pen tool. draw a shape here then arrange it properly Duplicate it, apply white color, something like this. All right. apply white color then drag it over here increase it a bit so this is the design thanks for watching